What's up, friends? It's Josh here, and I've got a free download for you. I'm gonna give you my website mock-up template. This has been highly requested for a while now, uh, and it looks just like this. It's what I use to mock up our website designs to where there's a desktop computer with the the web currently my website design, and then there's also a mobile version. You'll see this in my business website at intransitstudios.com. This is how we display all of our website designs. You'll see it on the front page here currently. And then we have them in our portfolio page to where it looks like this. So each one of our designs looks pretty slick in this little website mock-up template. So I have this available in a couple of my courses, but I kept on getting asked about it. And recently in my Divi Web Designers Divi Support Facebook group, uh, somebody was asking about it and I dished it out there and it went over so well that I decided, you know what, I'm gonna make it available to everyone. So I'm gonna give you this and I'm also gonna do you one better. I'm also gonna give you a version that has four devices. So these are two different templates. What I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you how to download them and how to work with them. Now, heads up, these are Photoshop templates. So if you don't use or don't have Photoshop, you won't be able to use these exact templates, but have no fear, there are some other options out there for you. Uh, you can just Google website mock-up devices or website or free website mock-up tools. Uh, and there's a, there's quite a few out there. This one is my favorite, and I'll show you how we can use this. Uh, this is an online version. The cool thing about this is, watch this, let's just go to my site. Let's pull my URL and let's put it in here. Again, this is if you don't have Photoshop and you can't use the templates I'm providing for you, but watch how quick this is. I just put that in, I put my URL in there and this is real time. I did not stop this recording. Look how fast it puts all of the, the pictures and stuff in there. Really, really cool. So this is super handy. This is free. I'll make sure it's linked below in this post. So all you need to do is go here and you can put in your whatever URL is in there and then we'll automatically create these device mockups. Really cool, high res. So this is a great option. Uh, Elegant Themes has an article with some cool free mockup designs too that are not just device specific, but I'll link to this as well. But I just wanted to show you that there are some good options out there, this one being included. However, the problem with this is that you don't have a whole lot of control with it. This is fine for the most part, but it also has the Apple logo. So. What I wanted to do is give you the ones that I use. And again, these are Photoshop templates. So first things first, to get these, I'll have these linked below, but all you need to go, all you need to do is go to each one of these mockups. These are free on my website. And then if, if you don't see the download now button, you just need to log in or register an account. So you may see something like this. If you don't already have an account on my site, all you need to do is log in or you can register right here. And then once you do that, you'll see this download button and you can download this. So let's download the two device mockup and let's go over to the four device mockup and download that as well. And side note, the reason I have my site set up like this is because I don't want you to have to enter an email over and over and over again every time I put out a free download because I am continuing to do more free downloads. So this way, all you have to do is register for a free account on my site and you can just go through all my free stuff, which side notes right here, just go to free stuff. And then I'm gonna continue to build out this page with free layouts, little child theme stuff, eBooks, and then you'll see these devices on here as well. And you can download those. So with those downloaded, let's do a couple of things. Let's take a look at what we've got here. And you'll notice I'm actually doing, I very rarely do a full screen uh, recording. Reason I have to do this is because we're gonna dive into Photoshop. So when you download these, they're gonna come as a zip file. All you have to do is double click or extract those and then you'll see the PSD files. So you'll see this one is for the two devices and this one is for the four. So let's start out with the two. Let's open this up into Photoshop. And let me just walk you through how these files are set up and then I'll show you how to put the design in there. So the way I have this set up is these are, you'll see the folders here. One is for mobile, which is gonna have the entire phone design, and then one is for desktop. Now in each one of these, there's a few different elements. And what I'm gonna show you here is the same thing that's gonna to apply to the four device mockup, if you choose to use that. So this one has the phone itself, the actual device. It has the screen where you're going to put your design. And then you'll see here that I just put a little disclaimer that says your design goes here, right there. 
So keep that in mind as the layout of these folders. Same thing in desktop, you'll see, and actually this one has a little reflection. Did you see that right there? A little reflection on there. And then it's got the same elements. It's got the computer, it's got the screen, and then it's got the text that we're gonna overwrite. So just wanted to show you how those are laid out. I did put a white background in here as an option. Um, I generally keep these transparent, but there is a background option there for you too. And of course you can make this your own. You can add, you can adjust the size of this. You can add different backgrounds to it. You can do whatever you want, but this is how it's set up currently. Now, first things first, let's go ahead and we'll use my site as the example. And let's take a couple screen grabs. So if you don't already know with Chrome, you can hold shift command four, and it'll give you the option to do a uh, exact screen grab. So you don't have to get like an additional screen grab plugin for the browser. Again, shift command four, and you're gonna be able to do an exact screen grab like this. So let's just take what we're gonna use for the desktop version. There we go, and that looks good. And you'll see that's already on my site there. It looks like we accidentally grabbed a, a junk one there first. All right, so we got that. Now let's do the phone. I'm gonna use inspect element. I could just drag my window in, but in this case, I'm gonna use inspect element just to, let's try that again, just to get the mobile version of the phone or of the, of the website. Yeah, you know what, screw that. Let's just, for the sake of this, there's a couple different ways you could go about this. Let's just zoom our window in and we'll grab the screen grab like that. We'll grab a pretty big one. I know it's not gonna take this whole thing in that device, but uh, we're gonna kind of crop it out anyway. So there we go. We've got a couple different screenshots. And again, all I did was hold shift command four to do that exact screen grab. Let's rename this though. Let's rename this to desktop and let's rename this one to mobile. All right, so we've got our screen grabs. Let's drop these in Photoshop and have some fun. Now, again, what I'm gonna walk you through here is the exact steps you'll take on the four device, so just keep that in mind. So we've got our desktop here ready, and your Photoshop may look a little bit different than mine, it just depends on how you have it set up. This is not a Photoshop tutorial, so I am gonna go pretty quickly. So again, you do need to have a basic understanding of Photoshop to use these ideally, uh, but they will look like this. I'll show you how easy it is though, it's very easy. So I just drug my design in there, and let's open Photoshop up a little bit for you. So you'll see, that this is really big, and I'm on a retina screen, so it's a really big design. Uh, the actual mock-up is not that big, so you will have to adjust this accordingly. So what I would do is with uh, Photoshop, you can just bring this in. I'm not even holding anything automatically. The free transform tool will just bring it in and keep the scale correct. So let's put that in there, and now with that close to the size, we need to drop this into the desktop. So let's go into the desktop and what we're gonna do, let me show you exactly what you'll do here. You'll just take your design, the screenshot, and the way I have this set is that we wanna put this right inside this little file that says replace screen. So in order to do that, the way I have this built for you, all you need to do is drop this under where it says your design here. And look at that, just by doing, just by dropping that under there, it automatically put it inside the device mock-up. Really, really cool because this screen is inside that device right there. So with the text that I had there, the, place, the placeholder text, you can either just turn that off or you could delete this layer altogether. It doesn't matter. So let's take this and let's just firm that up perfectly right there. And that looks pretty good. And let's just move this around just a little bit to make sure we get it close as we can. And that'll do. Now, see how this little file is nested under there? If you don't happen to see that, or if something happens, so for example, we've got it close right here, but it's being cut off. Now, you could just take an erase tool and or some sort of cropping tool and cut that off, but I use layers and nested um, like file paths and layer paths all the time in Photoshop, it's awesome. If you guys are liking this, maybe I'll start doing some Photoshop tutorials, who knows? But what you have to do is with that layer, with your screen grab over the replace screen layer, all you have to do is hold Alt or Option. And then you'll see this little nested icon comes up. And then watch this with that selected. And then when I click this in between there, watch the lower part of the picture get sucked into the screen. Bam, there we go. Easy peasy, super cool. So that's all you need to do. So now with that one ready, let's go to the mobile version. 
And we are gonna, first things first, let's just size this a little better to make it easier when we zoom in here. So that should be about right. Let's zoom in and let's drag this layer into the mobile folder. Let's see where that's at. And you guessed it, we're gonna drag this right under there so it nestles into the screen. Super easy, super cool, we can get rid of that. And let's drag that bad boy right about there. Just size it up just a little bit more. And that's gonna do it for me, guys. Check it out, easy peasy. So again, the two layers, desktop, our little screenshot is right there nestled in there, mobile's right there. Again, if something happens to where this layer happens to go out or something, all you have to do is hold option and click in between those two layers and it will nestle perfectly in there. So there we go, that is the first device. Now, let me show you the four device mock-up. Very similar, this one just has a couple little more spots that are a little more intricate and it's because these devices have tilts to them. So let's take a peek at this here. And same thing, you'll see I've got four layers in this case. We've got one for the laptop, mobile, tablet, and the desktop in the background. So let's go ahead and use the same uh, screenshots that we did previously. And we're gonna use this for all the tablet versions and, and laptop too. Uh, back online on the device generator, if you do that, you'll notice they do look a little bit different. Uh, but again, like this looks a little odd. Uh, so I, I like to have a little more control. Also, this one is vertical, not horizontal. So again, this is why I like to do these Photoshop templates just to have a little more control. So let's drag this bad boy in there. And yep, let's zoom out. We're gonna size her a little bit. And again, I am going pretty quick because this is not a full Photoshop tutorial, uh, but hopefully you guys see how easy this is. So let's go really quick on this one. This one goes into desktop. We're gonna make sure it goes under there. Get rid of that. And wow, I actually got this one really close, didn't I? Not too shabby. Let's just firm that up a little bit. Cool. Let's go back out. And you know what? Actually, we're gonna use that same thing for the tablet and laptop, aren't we? So check this out. Let's drag that bad boy in. A couple different ways you can do this. So if you're an expert in Photoshop, you're probably better than I am at this. Feel free to do whatever works for you. I'm gonna use, I'm actually gonna duplicate this. Let's duplicate it here and I'll drag it out. There we go. Okay, so we've got two layers of this. The first one, let's drag into tablet and you guessed it right in there. Let's get it pretty close. Now, here's the difference and here's what you need to do with the tablet version and uh, laptop version is it looks, you know, it's close, but obviously there's an angle here. There's a couple different ways you can do this. What I like to do is with that screenshot selected, go to edit, transform, and skew. What skew does is allow us to adjust the edges of this design to be skewed perfectly inside that window. Pretty cool, huh? I love this effect in Photoshop. This is why I love doing this because you can have full control. And there we go, easy peasy. That one looks great on tablet. And then, yep, we're gonna look at this other layer and then we're gonna bring this into the laptop. And let's make sure we drag this bad boy over. Yeah, we can probably just skew it straight from there, eh? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's delete that text layer. And with that selected, transform, skew. Let's have some fun. There we go, there we go. Looking good, looking good. Looking good and something like that. All right, easy peasy. And I don't wanna leave you hanging. I was just gonna say do the same thing for phone, but let's finish this out for you guys if you wanna see it all the way through. Again, same process that we did in the other one. We're just gonna drag this right inside the phone there. And let's zoom in, yep, yep, yep. Going into mobile. Make sure we get this bad boy synced in there. And actually, where did that go? Oh, we were in the wrong layer there, weren't we? Let's go there. Design text is done. Let's get this right and right about there. That should do, again, it's a little blurry right now because this file's not huge, so hopefully that works all right for you guys. I do not have these in high res versions, unfortunately, because this is what I use. I actually don't like to have these displayed too big. Um, generally, these are gonna be like two columns or even if it's a featured image, uh, the, the sizing before should work. So. That's it guys, and then all you have to do is you can save these for 
for web and then you're good to go. So what I just showed you there, the end result is what I showed you in the beginning here. That's what it's gonna look like. Sweet little device mock-up. So there you go, guys. You can download these for free and you can utilize these. This video is also kind of the instruction video for you as well. And just as a reminder, there are some options for you guys who don't use Photoshop. This is a great, this is actually my favorite one that's not a Photoshop template. So this is what I would recommend using if you don't wanna use the, uh, the Photoshop templates. But there's a bunch of other options out there. You can just Google device website mockup generator or something like that and you'll see all kinds of ones because the only thing about free sites like this is who know who know excuse me who knows how long it's going to be up so uh good to have your own resource as well so hope you guys enjoyed that and then now with those resources you can start making a portfolio that looks like mine and i one thing i will say too just as we wrap up the reason i do my portfolio with the two device is i feel like the four i actually tried with the four devices but it was just too much in this type of situation, I mean, there's two devices on each one. So you're already looking at eight devices here, 16, uh, what if 24. So there's already a lot of devices. It just was too much with four. So I only use the four device mock-up, which is right here uh, on specialty pages. We have it on our Facebook, my business Facebook and stuff like that. So that's kind of why I like going with the two version. My clients get the, they, they know with this that it's going to be a desktop and it's going to work on mobile as well. Side note, most clients don't even care about tablet stuff. They just look on their phones. So most, most of them do. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoy these. Again, just go to my site. Make sure you just uh, sign up for an account if you don't already have a free account on my site. And then you'll see this little download button. You can download these and you can use these on any number of sites that you want. And again, I've got a bunch of other free stuff you can download as well. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe and hit that little ring icon so you know when the next video is live. And I'll see you guys on the next video.